Good afternoon, Mr. Zaid Amura, uh, Regional Sales Manager of Vectolic. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here with us today at the Mina Desalination Projects Conference. Thank and you for having me. Thanks, Mr. Uh, Zaid. And uh, my question is, Vectolic, uh, you have 30 branches, 30 factories around the world, and 13 branches. True. So and we have around 13 branches all over the world. Uh -huh. Because you choose, what you choose Gabal Ali to be your first destination in the Middle East and the Absolutely. East. So why why Absolutely. So before we touch base on the branches that we have, it's uh, very good to highlight who is Victolic. Victolic is a market leader in the industry. We hundred years back we're celebrating in fact this year the hundred years anniversary. Uh, we're a hundred years old company. We created and invented the solution that uh, is called currently in the market as a grooved mechanical joints. Yep. And that, that solution mainly came to, uh, to solve a lot of issues in the desalination water projects. Uh, currently we have around 13 factories all over the world. We work in many different segments and many different applications. Uh, we choose Dubai to be our first branch, not, not now. That was a 15 years old decision. Uh, however, last year we have got to a new branch which is extremely bigger than the one we had. We have a fabrication services that we do plus an engineering services. We cover in a big time uh, a lot of different segments and application, but we see the potential in the water market and that's what we want to keep on investing at. Today, the way how we see the market is, is evolving and it's improving towards having a more uh, mature business uh, towards the water sectors, whether it's a desalination, whether it's a, it's an it's an ROs, whether it's a, it's a sewage plants. But you see the the need of this. Around 25 to 30 percent of the whole water project in the whole world is mainly centralized in this small part of the world. So this brings brings a message to all the manufacturers and brings a message to the major APCs. Uh, that it's a market to give an attention to. It's a market where a lot of the suppliers, a lot of the vendors, a lot of the engineering firms needs to focus on. And that's why we believe um, such an event uh, brings all those key players and all those main decision makers to sit in a one platform, and sit in a one avenue where we all can discuss, share obstacles. Uh, a lot of people, they, they, they're very good in sharing the obstacles, but we need to, show, to share the success as well. Uh, we always say bad news travels quickly, good news never travel. Yeah. So uh, it's very interesting to see during the sessions today what kind of obstacles and what kind of success stories other markets had mm -hmm. so that we all can learn, learn from it. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, you mentioned the opportunities and the, like, uh, the growth opportunities in the region. Mm -hmm. What about the challenges and the obstacles? True. This is a very, very major point. from. From a manufacturing perspective, we interact a lot with the owners, with the authorities, with the engineering firms, plus the contractors. So we look at the cycle uh, in, a, in, a, in a full length. And we can see the obstacles has been, has been changing from one, one phase time to, to another. Today we can see the major obstacle. If we talk about the whole countries, you can see the, the need of the, the water. And everyone is realizing that Unfortunately, we're in a part of the world where water is not a key uh, source. So we need to find a way to have water. And uh, that's why the majority of, as I've mentioned, the majority of the projects are here. Obstacles are, are in certain countries, I would say, from an engineering perspective, everything needs to be in a fast track project. So you would see people always looking at a fast track project because they want a demand, they want that demand to go to a certain areas. So that's why we believe optimizing the project from the key chain has to be uh, in a very much aligned process. That's why we work not only with the contractor, but we try to work also with the engineering firms where we can add a lot of value, not only us, but most of the vendors that are here today. So I think time is the major challenge that we have nowadays. Yeah, of so um, what is the expansion plans in the region? Like you said, the Gebel Ali office or mm -hmm. branch won't be the first, the last one here. It's the first, but won't be the last one. So where else are you planning to Absolutely. So expand? nowadays, I mean, the first thing that we've done last year is we have moved to a bigger branch. Uh, we have a huge branch now in Jabal Ali. Uh, we have, while a lot of people and a lot of vendors are downsizing in staff, we have increased our staff to, uh, we have around six guys sitting in Saudi Arabia. We have around 15 guys sitting in Dubai. We have a lot of people sitting between different countries. 
uh, we're exploring the South African market, but to focus here, uh, Saudi might be a major potential for, for us to open a branch. Uh, Kuwait would be a hub plus Oman. Those are the countries where we think about not only to open a, fact, to open a, a, a branch, but even to work with the visions that the uh, customers and the uh, owners are having in terms of uh, uh, having a local kind of, kind of uh, appearance. So we're looking to do that, hopefully. It's one of our visions and missions in, in the company. Great. Something that we need to look at. It might take time, but we are there. All the best. Good luck. Thank you very much, Marine. Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much for joining Mina Desalination Projects. And uh, tell us something like, what is your feedback about Mina Desalination Projects conference and whether you're going to join us again next year? Absolutely. So um, this is my first time in, in, in this conference. And to be honest, what I like about it, it's straight to the point. You meet with the right people. Mm -hmm. You meet with the right decision makers. And, and, and the environment is... is Frankly speaking, I'm not a guy that like the exhibition kind of mentality because it's it's a, it's not really hitting the main the main point. But this is literally hitting the tail on the nail, and uh, and I think this is this is one of the points that we need all to focus at. Hopefully, you'll see us next year participating in it. Absolutely. Thank you. So much, Thank you. Mr. Thanks a lot. Thanks.